Welcome to the future, or at least a hilarious, safer inspired version of it, where solar panels, electric batteries, and pure ambition combine to create some of the most unique vehicles Africa has ever seen. Straight out of the University of Johannesburg, Langa 2 is what happens when students watch too much sci-fi and decide to bring it to life. These vehicles redefine, thinking outside the box, sometimes so far outside that the box becomes a distant memory. Langa is our Formula One racing type vehicle that we can have electric vehicles on the road charging using renewable energy. This solar powered marvel doesn't just capture sunlight, it captures double takes from anyone lucky enough to see it in action. Well, the car itself can do up to 140 kilometers an hour, so it's, it's not a slow car, but uh, we've designed it to run optimally at about 90 kilometers an hour. With a sleek, low slung body that looks like it's perpetually ready for takeoff, Langa 2 isn't just a car, it's a conversation starter, humanity's answer to a question no one asked. What if we turned a solar panel into a spaceship on wheels? We use the same software that the Formula One teams use and it's purely student built. We're being trained for jobs in the future, it's where technology meets education. This vehicle looks like it got lost on its way to a Star Wars set, but decided to stick around and run errands instead. Efficiency wise we push the limits, so every piece of equipment that goes into this from the, the smallest circuit board to the, the shortest length of wire we try and optimize to make sure that we use as little energy as possible. The aerodynamic designs whispers, I've been to space. Will the shimmering solar panels scream, step aside Tesla? The South African Solar Challenge kicked off with nine teams testing the limits of solar power in a road race from Pretoria to Cape Town. Walking past it feels like you're part of a futuristic movie and if you're lucky, it might even beam you up to its home planet. The sixth edition of the challenge will see vehicles covering distances between 2,500 and 5,000 kilometers. These aren't just your average cars. They're futuristic, eco-friendly marvels that look like they drove straight out of a science fiction movie and onto the streets of Africa. The solar cars, it, it's something that looks futuristic, so who wouldn't want to be uh, part of a team that's dealing with something that would, would sort of uh, solve a problem such as uh, fuel uh, in future. If Batman decided to swap his Batmobile for a green alternative, Langa 2 would be parked in the Bat cave faster than you could say solar powered vigilante. The participating teams design and build their own solar powered vehicles. This thing doesn't just push boundaries. It crumbles them into a ball, tosses them over its shoulders, and zooms off into the sunset. <laughs> Training champions Delft University from the Netherlands will be defending their title in a competition of speed and endurance. At first it was not easy, uh, as uh, the steering wheel is not that easy to sort of keep it straight. But uh, as time goes on, I learned how to sort of uh, manage to keep it on the, on the straight line. Its award-winning design could make even the Batmobile blush with envy. So this initiative, our uh, institution caters for P2 and P, P1 and P2 students so that they can complete their studies and they are trying to give us uh, engineering challenges okay. like, and see how the construction of a project goes. And honestly, if Elon Musk saw this, he would just throw his hands up and admit defeat. So firstly, we prioritize the, the mechanical safety mm -hmm. of the cars and also the electrical so that the occupants of the vehicle will be able to be safe and drive safe. Langa 2.0 doesn't just turn heads. It makes you question if you're still on Earth. Designed by a university professor whose light bulb moment came from actually getting electrocuted, this car isn't just eco-friendly, it's ego-friendly, because driving it guarantees all eyes on you. It's the kind of car that makes people wonder if they wandered into a portal and ended up in the year 3022. So let me ask. What, what is the budget someone should have to, to get his car converted to electric? But basically for like a small uh, car, given the cost of the battery, it's around 1 million Kenya shillings. Yeah. But don't let the sleek exterior fool you. This car is about substance. First things first. Changing this thing is like babysitting. Four hours plugged in and it's ready to give you a whooping 80 kilometers of its range. That's not just a car. 
Tesla mm. drive train, uh, BMW. So what you do is we take those motors and we basically lie that uh, to the to the computer of the of the motor that it's basically the same car. It's compact, practical, and about as cozy as a wooden bench in a park on a windy day. So for this one, uh, the engine basically failed, uh, and uh, we, we take it and we, we remove all the internal combustion components. So we remove the engine, the exhaust, uh, the fuel pump, uh, the gear levers, the manual gear levers, and we retrofit. But let's not be too harsh. This car is trying to change the game in its own slow-moving way. Meanwhile, introducing the City Blitz, South Africa's electric vehicle that's more blink and you'll miss it than blitz. This little guy looks like what would happen if a golf cart decided to hit the gym but got distracted halfway through. It's compact, so compact that calling it a van feels like a stretch worthy of Olympic gymnastics. We have the new EV Africa City Blitz. So obviously the City Blitz isn't going to be competing for your more luxurious EV market space. Much more focused on your more domestic commercialized setting. So hopefully a lot of delivery vehicles will be utilizing the City Blitz. Imagine starting your day full of hope only to find yourself pulling over at 3 p.m. with a drained battery and a lifetime's worth of regret. The Blitz boasts an electric motor that hums along with the enthusiasm of a tired vacuum cleaner reaching speeds that might get you overtaken by pedestrians with a strong sense of purpose. The design? Let's just say aerodynamic isn't the word. The City Blitz has a top speed of 80 km per hour with a range of 150 to 160 km. This one's best suited for trips to the grocery store, assuming the store isn't too far away or if you live in a large castle. As well as a recharge time of 4 to 6 hours. Practical? Sure. If your errands involved carrying exactly one suitcase and maybe a pet hamster, and the eco-friendly badge, it's there, but when you see it chugging or buzzing uphill, you'll wonder if it's powered by hope more than electricity. It's not flashy, it's not fast, but hey, it's here, rolling quietly through South Africa's streets with all the determination of a toddler learning to walk. Don't laugh too hard though. With the price of gas these days, you may just be begging for a lift in one of these pocket-sized wonders. These cars may not replace your favorite sports car, but they sure know how to make an impression. Whether they are chasing the sun, buzzing quietly through neighborhoods, these creations prove that Africa isn't just part of the automotive conversation. It's driving it in some of the most innovative and unexpected ways. So the next time you see a solar powered UFO cruising down the highway or an electric car struggling up a hill with a green, remember, innovation doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to keep moving forward.